Hello, it's John Heaton and today I'm going to review a new album from Joey Molland, f formerly of Bad Finger. I unfortunately I don't have a hard copy of the album, I'm going to pick it up in England. Um, I've listened to it on Spotify so far, uh, it's called Be True To Yourself and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's produced by Mark Hudson who worked with Ringo over an extended period, several solo albums with Ringo and um, various musicians are on it. I uh, don't have the full details, but uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly rank Joey's back catalogue, including the new album, and we'll see how it fits in. Um, I've got all of his solo albums on hard copy on CD, apart from one on vinyl. And um, one, two, three, four, five, six there are. Not, exclude, not including this one, which is Demos Old and New, which is, which is actually some, contained some damn good demos, uh, which didn't make it onto any album. Some of, the, some of them did, like Mirrors made it onto um, This Way Up, uh, and so did Isn't That a Dream. But uh, songs like Birdsong, Borderline, uh, I think those are the two highlights for me. Um, they're all decent. Panning Gold is a good one from 82. So that one's worth checking out, not an official album. Um, so bringing up the rear in one, two, three, four, five, six, we've got six albums. Number six, we've got his album from 2014, Return to Memphis, which um, is okay. It was, I'm glad to see he put it out, but it, I didn't play it too often. Um, but it's okay. Uh, then we've got The Pilgrim, number five. Uh, uh, hold on, there are only one, one, two, three, four, five. There are only five albums because I've got one of them on vinyl, sorry. So at number five, Return to Memphis. Number four, The Pilgrim, 1992. This one suffers from uh, rather of putting production uh, to, the ex to the extent that the melodies tend to lose out. I think I prefer Joey's so albums when he's got a more uh, panned down production where you can hear the, the band more. On here it's a bit cluttered. But there's some good stuff on here. Um, then we number at number three I will put the new album, Be True to Yourself, and uh, it's got I mean, let me let me see. I've, I've listed the tracks here. I mean, it's very this, this time the opener sounds like a Ringo track. It's produced by Mark Hudson. He's got that very distinctive production style, and uh, I think it's uh, the only thing I will say is it maybe makes this a little bit takes away Joey's individuality, so he's less noticeable as Joey Mond and more kind of mixed into the kind of Mark Hudson style of song. So this could easily be a Ringo song just with Joey singing the lead vocal. I mean, uh, it's got those trademark backing vocals, a bit, a bit like um, with the ones used on Way to the World from Time Takes Time. Um, but this is fairly minor criticism. I think that all the way through the album, there's a pretty consistent level of songwriting. I think Better Tomorrow is decent, Rainy Day Man, was an early teaser, which is good. Heaven is a particularly nice track. All I Want to Do is probably the most melodic track on, on here, and I think was another early teaser for here. I Don't Want to Be Done With You, another love song with a good melody. All I Do is Cry, same. Loving You is probably the, the slowest, most beautiful song on here, or one of them. Shine is a kind of um, up-tempo up number, which is, which is good, and then the title track, Probably the only slightly disappointing track for me on the whole album. Um, well, the only other minor criticism I would have is that all the songs tend to roll into one a little bit because of the production style of Mark Hudson, but uh, it's a better album than The Pilgrim. It's a better album than Return to Memphis by, by quite a distance. So that brings us to number two, After the Pearl, which I've also got on vinyl, signed by Joey. Liverpool 1983, Liverpool Convention. Uh, and I picked up this album at Colony Records. That, remember that superb, those of you who are familiar with New York City, there was a superb record shop 
secondhand record shop called Colony Records on Broadway, kind of quite near Times Square. And uh, to my disappointment, when I went to New York last time, the last couple of times, I'd found it had closed down. So I guess that, that it went the way that most record shops have gone. But um, I found a lot of goodies there over the years. Um, so fond memories of that. And I picked this up in 1986, my first trip to the States. And it's probably the most, it is the most I've ever played for an album, ever. <laughs> uh, so it was a solo album. First one from Joey after Bad Finger Split Up. Came out in 83, I think before Tom Evans took his life. Um, and uh, I was just delighted to find it. And also delighted that it was released on, on CD. I think this is, I very nearly put this number one on his discography. Here Comes Heartache, it's a superb single. Too Late to Cry is just beautiful. In My Heart, the same. Uh, me and Jemima is an outtake from um, the No Dice sessions. And Dreams of Thunder is a great way to end it with some superb keyboards. Uh, he's got a good band on here. But at number one in Joey's catalogue, and for some reason he's called himself Joe Molland for this album. This album came out 2001, I think, or two. 2002, I think. Uh, and it's called This Way Up, and from start to finish, it's a tour de force, and it, I was just so happy when I bought this. I was actually in New York City, and I saw it in the record shop physically, and I picked it up, got home, played it, and uh, every track is brilliant, but I would say, I would single out Isn't That a Dream, Angel Like Us, uh, When I Was a Boy, um, This Must Be Love, those are, those are a few favourites, and the opener mirror is, is decent as well. So Joey's solo career, a lot more prolific than the others, obviously. Uh, Pete Ham, just a couple of outtake albums released. He obviously didn't live to make any more. Tom Evans, just there's the one album with Rod Roach, The Over You, which is very decent, but uh, he didn't either live to make any more. Joey is the only surviving member of uh, Badfinger because Mike Gibbons, the drummer, also passed away uh, a few years ago. So he's keeping the torch alive, playing gigs, and um, thankfully still recording. And uh, I advise you to check out his new album. Sorry, I don't have a copy of it to show you, but I will be picking it up in due course. So thanks for watching. See you next time.